Hello, welcome to part one of Steam's in-home sharing video, or streaming. And this is going to be a two-parter where I show how to stream across a network from one computer to another. So you can have a, a device that is perhaps old and decrepit that can run a top-of-the-line game from another machine on the network that's a bit more capable. And part two will be running Linux. Oh yeah, we're going to run Ubuntu. Which we're running 14.10 and we're going to run Ultra Settings, Tomb Raider 2013 on a Surface Pro, the original, and on a Dell D530 laptop to prove how effective this can be. So what you do is you go to your Steam Settings and you've got a little button that says In Home Streaming. Tick the box and you'll see any computers on your network that are connected with your account. So log on to those other computers with your Steam username and password. You'll see them link up in this, this list. You can select your host options, uh, your client options, and obviously your, your, your sort of transfer speed. Click OK on that. Once that's done, if your games are installed on one computer in your your house or your on your network locally, you can play them on any computer at full settings. Let's do this. Okay, so I have installed Steam on this Surface Pro here. As you can see, there it is, and. As long as the game is installed on another machine in the house, in your network, whatever, <laughs> whatever, you can then stream across the network that game from another computer. Now, for this to work, you need the master computer that's powerful enough to be able to stream and run these games at these settings in the first place. So, in all fairness, the Surface isn't having to work that hard. So, let's go ahead and play. So, I'm going to stream this game. And as you can see, I'm just going to show it's launched on here straight away. But over here, it has obviously brought up as well. Let's go ahead and click play. We'll now get full 1080p resolution. As you can see, it is mirroring. A bit like remote desktop, to be fair. In fact, I think it is some sort of remote desktop. As you can see, it's streaming across quite nicely. We're going to click continue on here and continue playing. So as you can see both screens. So this computer is the one that is obviously storing the game, running, rendering the game and then broadcasting it over to this machine and this obviously client picking it up. As you can see, it runs very very nicely. New gear acquired, some rope. This is ultra settings broadcast from one machine to another. Pretty smooth considering it's a remote desktop session in a way. Running quite well. That hurt, thank you very much. Who do these guys think they are? I'm going to make sure they don't live anymore. We're going to up here a bit further. Goodbye. This guy's getting my wick. Okay. So as you can see, quite a technical feat really. Uh, genuinely impressive stuff, playing across a network like this, from one machine to another, broadcasted. It's a bit like watching a video, it's just real time. Yeah, so as you can see, it is streaming from this machine. Uh, that's obviously been rendered on here and broadcast to this one. And as you can see, it's uh, pretty, pretty smooth and quite impressive stuff. I'm going to make Linux run this. We're going to get Ubuntu running this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Much better than that surface. <laughs> I reckon I can make a 10 year old laptop running Ubuntu, Tomb Raider running at ultra settings the same as this. <laughs> Paul, do you think I'll be able to get Ubuntu running Tomb Raider 2013? Hell no, Jake. <laughs> You're not going to do it, man. Come on. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Well, I think I will be able to. 
This is the laptop we're going to use, and this is going to be in part two. Stay tuned, guys.